I decree and declare now. Raise your hand wherever you are. I decree and declare by an act of divine vengeance. Vengeance shall visit their houses in the name of Jesus. Banduzi Kabaya. Kerananzo Tabaya. Just as the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 11. These are the men that cause mischief. By act of divine revelation. I expose their names, all of them in the name of Jesus. Kabaya. This month shall be a month with a difference in your life. A month with supernatural occurrences. It shall be recorded as a point of reference for you. You shall say if it wasn't for that month. Kabayantosa. Every agent of hell. Every agent of evil. Every wickedness that the wicked do, it is exposed for you in the name of Jesus. You shall image a surprise, a wonder and a light to your people. Every enemy of yours will say you are a wonder. You are a light. You are a pathway. You are a light bringer in the name of Jesus. This month, shall be filled with surprise manifestations yes. of surprising miracles. Yes. It shall be a surprising month for you. Yes. A month to bring surprise miracles. Yes. Unprecedented answers to prayer. Yes. As the Lord leaves, you shall have good news this week for yourself. Yes. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. By divine providence, I speak as a prophet. The spirit of prayer, the spirit of faith, the spirit of grace and supplication will cause you to become a force in prayer matters and you become effectual to the surprise of your enemy. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Rehearse it in your mind. Rehearse it in your mind. Rehearse it now in your mind. Now. I was talking to, to my wife before coming to the service and I said, I had a vision of Levi saying I prophesy restitution Amen. and restoration. Amen. And I said to him in that vision, I said, son, this prophecy is starting, eh? That's what I say. So I was telling you, and by same token, may the beautiful wonders of restitution and restoration be accorded to you this minute in the name of Jesus. Restoration is when somebody steals one car from you and they give you a car. Restitution is when they have to count the time you were with no car because they inconvenienced you and they give you three cars. <laughs> May the beautiful wonders of restitution, restoration, be upon you in a mighty and surprising way. As you hear me now, you shall come from this broadcast. You shall emerge as a wonder, a surprise, a force, a colossal entity, a destroyer of anything that impedes your success. In the name of Jesus, begin to rehearse it. Begin to rehearse it in your mind. Begin to rehearse it in your mind. Begin to rehearse it in your mind. Manjun jengendange. Pandu zanganga duze. Paku dalentekeza. God told me that during this service, he is driving away far from you. Every reproach in the name of Jesus. All those that look down upon you shall begin to look up to you. This prophetic declaration is not a wish of something that will happen. No. We are in a strange commission given by the Holy Ghost to speak his words. 
to explain hard sentences, to dissolve doubts. Your future is set by authority in the name of Jesus. Banu Mandezo Kabaya. Manju Kabayande. Makabaya. Every demand you shall make this year. Every demand you shall make this year of the Lord. Every command you shall give a thing this year. Every miracle you shall ask from the Lord. Every supplication you make in order to get to your destiny. The Lord said, I shall deliver it raw in the name of Jesus. It shall be delivered raw in the name of Jesus. Your new job is dawning. Your new prosperity is dawning. Your new promotion is dawning. New contracts dawning in the name of Jesus. Bajuta. Vengeance is answering at the door of your enemy. Kabaye. Jesus, 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 Jesus. This is a dress rehearsal for your prosperity. Any spiritual gang, any spiritual gang sent to kidnap the fruit of your womb, the fruit of your success, the fruit of your labor. They are all, these gangs are all disbanded and arrested by the authority of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. For your sake you shall be free. In the name of Jesus. Riesa, Riesa, Riesa. Man dikaba. Zotaba yandes. Gekato man ledosa. Exodus 4.23 says it this way. If you do not let my son go, says Israel should go and be free to worship me in the desert. And Israel is my son. And if you Egypt won't let them go, if you don't let my son Israel go, I will kill your son. By reason of this scripture, anything that is holding you hostage in order to worship, for you to pre preventing you from worshiping God, it is killed today in the name of Jesus. If anything was stopping your progress, by reason of Exodus 4, yes. your commitment to the gospel yes. has become your eternal defense. Yes. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. This is not a prediction. We are setting what your future is. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be Monday. Yes. Am I predicting? No. It is what it is. Yes. Even this, it is what it is. Yes. We are not wishing it will be like this. Yes. No. We are declaring this month yes. that it is so. Yes. If tomorrow is really Monday, yes. we are in agreement. Yes. And after Monday is what? Is it changing? No. no. The Bible says, what's this? You remember, God said, if you can change my covenant of the day and night, so that there will not be a day and a night, so my covenant also change. So God is saying, I can only change my promise if you can change night and it becomes day. <laughs> Every word God has spoken about you, no evil anywhere on earth or anywhere in the spiritual realm can stop it in the name of Jesus. I raise it for you. I raise it for myself. If you don't let my son Israel go, <laughs> I will kill your son. Anything that stops your marriage from being beautiful yeah. or that stops you from putting that ring on yes. or that stops you from meeting that man, that woman that you should get married to. Yeah. Ah, it is let to go now in the name of Jesus of your life and out of your life in the name of Jesus. Anything that stops your business from succeeding by your commitment to the gospel, your business now. Is able to quench any fiery debt concern. Yeah. 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 
Are you understanding defense? Yes, sir. Manduza. I decree and declare a day for glorious, a month for a glorious liberation of you in the name of Jesus. Exodus, Exodus 20, 22, verse number 18. Don't suffer a witch to succeed and to live. He says, you should never allow a witch to live. You say, okay, what about Jesus? Because this is Exodus. No, but Jesus, when he looked at a tree, he cast it. And they went. He did not say, I'll come tomorrow and fix it. He realized when I come tomorrow, this one should have a result of what I said to you. So many times we let our things, the, the obstacles, to stay alive when we pass by them. In the book of Genesis, Revelation, that great dragon that we find there is still in the garden. And when we get to the New Testament, he's still in the garden. Talking to him. Let this cup leave. So the snake you did not kill in Genesis, when we open the book of Revelation, is now a great dragon. Genesis is a snake. Exodus is growing. <laughs> oh, the books of Moses is growing. The prophets is growing. The book of Matthew is growing. When it gets to Revelation, it's called the great dragon. Anything you know is stopping your progress and you let it stay if it trouble you in the future. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. Anything that survived your onslaught spiritually, we kill it now in the name of Jesus. It is no room to stay in your life in the name of Jesus. Kabaya. Reese it. Reese it. Reese it. Reese it. We are about to finish. Reese it. Every evil bewitching your destiny. It is bewitched now in the name of Jesus. Kabaya. What caused you to shed tears, to mourn, to cry in the past days will be turned into a testimony now in the name of Jesus. Your future is guaranteed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Your miracle is delivered. Kabaya. Any force that trapped your success, your prosperity, your increase, I stop it in the name of Jesus. Manduji Kabaya. Manduza Teke. Now, 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 now. By an act of prophetic vengeance. An act of prophetic vengeance. And divine vengeance. That same thing that is coming to your family and is killing people and is killing your own household. I break its succession in the name of Jesus. It will not have anything to succeed in the name of Jesus. You are the case breaker in your family by authority of the Holy Ghost. Kabaya. Bandu Zamange. Manzu Tebaya. Now, 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 the Bible says, the Bible says, and the disciple, the apostle, mm -hmm. took his knife and cut the guard's ear. Yes, and you know what was going to happen that night? They were going to stop crucifying Jesus and crucify the, the apostle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. But you see, the problem was, there was evidence he did it. The blood was on the blade. And the ear was in the hand of the apostle. So this is not inferred evidence. This is direct evidence. You don't need a jury. You were caught with it. And Jesus takes the ear like it's nothing and replaces it. What he was doing was covering evidence for the crime. By prophetic power. Every mistake you have committed, every sin you committed, every mistake you have done, it is covered in the name of Jesus. The evidence is removed in the name of Jesus.
Now, 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 it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean the knife was not there anymore or the ear wasn't there anymore. What it simply means is this. It means the ear was there. So your mistake, your evidence of the mistake might be there, but it won't have anything to do with you. It won't affect you anymore. Ah, are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me now? Whatever you case today shall go dry this same hour in the name of Jesus. You have been endowed with ability to speak a word and that word will not be stopped in the name of Jesus. This is the prophetic declaration for this week. This month. And guess what? You can make it go for this year. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Some say, say we have a problem because I don't know what about the diseases this what is happening here this month will become your month to escape it yeah. oh you didn't hear that you didn't hear that yeah. I said this month receive power to escape every disease manju kebalan zeta bayando skirabanta mando ze palando se jejo chela mansa men kalamando ze kabai Rena Mando Zekamo. Anyone under the siege of coronavirus, be released now in the name of Jesus. Mando Zeka. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mark of wickedness shall not be seen on your life in the name of Jesus. It shall be removed. The evidence of it will not be there in the name of Jesus. Receive vitality to continue. Kabaya. Prosperity and vitality shall become your portion. Anything that raises his head again is your finances, again is your health, again is your family, again is everything you do, again is your progress, again is your promotion. The head of the Lord is rising again in the name of Jesus. You shall have testimonies everywhere you go. You shall attract good news everywhere you go. In the name of Jesus. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm telling you your future. I'm just telling you what the Lord told me your future is going to be. Every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Every area where the devil has sat on. Maybe your finances, the devil is sitting on it. Maybe your progress, the devil is sitting on it. By effects of the Holy Ghost, he is being made to unseat in the name of Jesus. Kabaya. Zuta Kabaya. Your light is shining now in the name of Jesus. They shall say the word, it shall come to nothing. They shall plan from the region of the seas. Yes. Their plans will be ruined. Yes. They shall have meetings against you, yes. but those meetings are disrupted. Yes. Gather yourselves together. Yes. Say the word, it will come to nothing. For God is with us. Paju teka, mandu kebakalosa, zikabayandese, mandu zikabayandose. I met, in Africa, I met a young man who said, my brother, the first born in our family, he said, we are four in our family. My brother built a house. And when he got to the roof stage, it was bent down. Fire, it caught fire from nowhere. Then the second one built a house. And when he got to the roof, bent down. A strange fire, different locations. Said, I started my own. I'm at window level prophet. And I know what this means. We are going to the same place. I said, by reason of you telling me. And reason of grace brought by the Lord Jesus Christ through dying and resurrection. I changed the course of your life. You shall not be counted among your bloodline. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the Bible says the life of the blood, according to the book of Leviticus, is in the blood. Yes. But we go by faith. We don't live by blood now. 
we live by faith. Amen. That means our faith can override the disease in the blood. Yes. Anything that is targeted at your family, it will not touch you. Yes. You shall be the one to break the records. Mandu Kebala, Teza to Zeta. I decree an advantage that it be established in your life. As God becomes an enemy to your enemy, an adversary to your adversary. Mandozo Kabaya. I release you from a revelation that makes you a stranger to God's blessings. May you have favor with men. May you have favor with men. Have favor everywhere. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this season, as God has given it to me, that you will not rely on a man, on a woman, on a relative, on contacts you know to get to the prosperity you are destined to get to. Because some people will say, dance like this for me to bless you. But God is saying, Joseph was not needed for Jesus to be there. Now, 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 now. Imagine your friend telling you, I impregnated your wife. You ought to be best friends. For him to say, I forgive you, it's okay. Imagine how Joseph was so close to God that God would come and say, Yeah, I'm impregnating your wife. Well, we've already spoken. Huh? Notice that the angel went to Mary before it went to Joseph. And Mary accepted the pregnancy before telling the husband. <laughs> you shall have a child. His name shall be Jesus. And he shall rule these people. Huh? Let it be according to what you just said. Huh? You mean to? I shall be, I shall be pregnant. So, say, I need to talk, tell Joseph. No, let it be done. You shall have the ability to have an ear and a heart that listens to God. Anytime he says do something, you shall do it in the name of Jesus. There is a season, this is the season, where the things that God wants you to do will be done immediately with speed in the name of Jesus. Mandu kaba yenke. Damunze ta kalama. Mandu zata da mandu zeta kalama. Mandu zikaba. Lejate bayanda. In Jesus' mighty name. This is it. The Bible says in the Proverbs 6, 31, and I give you this, my last one. If the thief be found, he shall repay sevenfold. God said I should tell you during this prophetic declaration Sunday that the thief has been caught. Prepare for a sevenfold return now. A sevenfold return in your finances. Yes. Sevenfold return in whatever you store. Yes. Sevenfold return in education. Yes. Sevenfold return in your health. Yes. Sevenfold return in relationship. Yes. Sevenfold return in promotion. Yes. Sevenfold return in your job. Yes. Sevenfold return in your contract. Yes. Sevenfold return in your company. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray wherever you are. Non Zamila. Good News World with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.